New York, early 20th century. Oil supplies seem infinite. Mega cities bloom with skyscrapers, fancy cars, Hollywood stars and jazz. Oh, jazz. Jazz is the result of the energy stored up in America, as George Gershwin once said. Gershwin himself was called the Abraham Lincoln of the musical world in America. He wrote golden American classics, brought jazz into the concert halls, created dozens of Broadway musicals, and the first folk opera in history. Gershwin's real name is Yakov Gershwitz. At the end of the 19th century, his parents emigrated from Odessa to America, and Yakov was born in New York in 1898. The names were Americanized, a common thing for immigrants of Jewish origin. He lived his childhood years in Brooklyn. George was a rowdy kid and often got into trouble. Up until 1908, he would conquer the noisy, muddy streets of New York and had no interest in music. He was 10 when everything changed. A neighbor's boy, a future famous violinist, made a domestic musical performance, and it happened. George fell in love with music. A year later, he received his first piano lesson. All his life, he took lessons from a variety of diverse mentors, but spent the lion's share of his time studying on his own. He dropped out of school at 15 and went to Tin Pan Alley, a famous area near Broadway where composers and publishers of American pop music lived and worked. Plugger's Purgatory is what Gershwin's biographer called this period. This experience greatly improved his skills at improvisation. While still in his teens, Gershwin was known as one of the most talented pianists in the New York area. He accompanied popular singers and worked as a rehearsal pianist for Broadway musicals. Gershwin was 18 when he composed the first song that was published. The piece demonstrated innovative new techniques, but only earned him $5. Though this effort created little interest, Swanee turned into a smash hit and brought Gershwin his first real fame, with more than a million copies being sold. In 1924, George finally collaborated with his brother, lyricist Ira Gershwin, on a musical comedy, Lady Be Good. Together, they wrote many more successful musical pieces, which included Porgy and Bess, An American in Paris, Rhapsody in Blue, Concerto in F. The weather is frightening, the thunder and lightning. The Gershwins, became the dominant Broadway songwriters. Gershwin had a genuinely magnetic personality. He gained fame in his early youth. After 30, he became a living icon and the richest composer in history. The golden boy, he enjoyed the company of numerous beautiful ladies, Hollywood stars, and prominent European colleagues. Gershwin didn't settle down, although he never had a lack of loving. He partied hard and worked with enthusiasm, never suffering from composer's block. George Gershwin lived a bright life, but sadly died of a brain tumour at the young age of 38. Only a few months earlier, he had written to his old friend Mabel Shearmer. Perhaps, dear Mabel, this is our year. A year that will see both of us finding that elusive something that seems to bring happiness to the lucky. So, sweet Mabel, lift your glass high with me and drink a toast to two nice people who will, in a happy state, go places this year. <laughs>